Hello everyone, Jeremy here, and today I have my newest print that I had made up at AdoramaPix.com. A little while ago, I had my first print made up from AdoramaPix, and it was an 8x10 photo that was printed on metallic paper. And I used that just to get a sense of how the metallic paper looked, and if I liked it. And then I said that I would make an even larger print out of that. Well, the day has finally come. This is a panoramic picture that I took in Gary, Indiana and this size is 10 by 20 and I paid about $12 for this. I had a 40% off coupon as well so actually the shipping was more than the picture itself which is pretty cool. So about 12 bucks shipped uh, Adorama was super cool. I had standard shipping, but for some reason they upgraded to two-day priority, so that was awesome. So now, the moment has come for me to open this up and just see how good this picture came out. Fingers crossed. Let's open up this box. As I said in the last video that I did about this, Adorama Pix does a really good job of making sure that your prints stay protected so it's sandwiched in between two pieces of cardboard and they are sealed with two, four, six pieces of tape so gotta take that tape off no need to take all of it off just enough to open up the mouth of it so that I can pull out the print underneath it all oh it's making that it's making that noise that sounds like nails on a chalkboard Ugh. oh no my puzzle I was working on, on the puzzle all right here we go this is the full size print uh, 10 by 20 of course the actual picture itself is uh, not the entire width and length of the paper uh, there were two different options you could chose a cropped section which would have ensured that all, all of the paper would have been filled or you could have chosen the uncropped version which gave you your entire picture but you have borders on the top and the bottom and you know I just tried for the borders on the top and the bottom because why not? What I liked about this scene in particular were these two bridges that were one that was more so in the foreground and the other one was sort of further in the background and uh, you know if I had my choice I would get this reprinted so that it could be bigger and take up more of the paper. This is just more of a more of a test for me. I just I, I really didn't know exactly how it was going to come out. Um, the picture size itself is smaller than I would have wanted it to be, but uh, I chalk it up as a learning experience. I can still have this framed and put somewhere else. But you know what I want to do? I'm going to try out this other site, and I believe this site is called uh, Easy Prints. I believe that's what it's called, and they seem to specialize in panoramic pictures. And I can get the same picture printed on either matte or glossy paper at a huge size. I can get this done at like uh, two or three feet tall and about four or five feet wide if I wanted to. Uh, so I'm going to try that out. I don't know when exactly I'll get around to doing that, but that is something that I uh, want to do. Not that there's anything wrong with the with this Adorama Pix one because the metallic paper of course you can't necessarily see it on camera but the uh, metallic paper does look very very nice and shiny and well metallic so that looks good but I want a big print of of this so yeah um you can probably look forward to that though I don't know exactly when I'm going to do it so thanks for watching until next time I'm Jeremy and I'll see you next time